Intercessors are not too known because their desire is the body of God. Many of them function from a cave. Many of them function from the backside. Christ himself is an intercessor in heaven. The spirit of God is an intercessor on the earth. But you and I are also supposed to be intercessors on the earth also. No wonder when you study two scriptures, you are going to see the Bible make mention of men like Epaphras, right? The Bible make mention of men like prophet what? Simon. Make mention of women like prophetess Anne, right? In fact, Paul himself said, my little children, upon whom I travel, in bed he cries before me indeed. It means somebody take upon himself the responsibility to continually travel until Christ is forming your life. Do you realize that the reason you are born again was because somebody interceded and prayed for you? You may never know. In fact, sometimes the reason why you are alive today is not even because you are righteous. It's because somebody's prayer is what is buying your life. You don't just know. But when are you going to come to a point where you say it's not all about you being selfish? Can you also become selfless a little bit? And begin to wake up at night and begin to pray. Begin to wake up in the daytime and begin to pray. Begin to take up a body and say, Kai, my son should not die like this. My sister should not die like this. This family should not remain like this. Let things change. See, let me tell you. Until the people rise up to pray, God will do nothing. As powerful as God is, God can be limited by the level of our intercession. No wonder God can look upon a region and turn his back at a region. It looks as though the region is haunted by ghosts. It's not because God hated it, because there are no intercessors in that region. When God wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, what he was looking for was just a cold room of a number of intercessors. And their name does not need to be mentioned. There are so many churches in Sodom and Gomorrah. But when God came to destroy, he didn't care about them. He was looking for men that were in the cave, that were praying that nobody knew them. It's a ministry that is not too common. But I realize that anyone that wants to be anointed by God, Anyone that wants to be used by God must be able to understand how to align himself. Join himself into the army of intercessors. Don't hate prayer. Enjoy it. And by the time you continually enjoy it, a time comes when the Lord sees you worthy to be used. You kind of make God handicap that God cannot do anything until he look upon you and say, there is something here. I must walk with this person. See, let me tell you the truth. Nothing will change in your life until somebody pray or until you pray. And the dangerous part of it is that sometimes there are few people that pray. So even if they are to distribute their prayer among all of us, it will not be enough. How many of us, before somebody died in our family, we saw it in a vision? We saw it in a dream. We even wrote it somewhere and we do nothing about it. According to scripture, their blood will be hooded in your hand. 